Hi, my name is Chris Maduri. I'm one of the interventional and structural cardiologists here at Piedmont Heart Institute in Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm pleased today to be with my two good friends and colleagues, Dr. Pradeep Yadav, one of our interventional and structural cardiologists, and Amy Simone, who's the director of our Marcus Heart Valve Center. Uh, it's exciting news today as we've seen that now low-risk TAVR has been approved by the FDA. And as we've all seen, TAVR has truly been a transform transformational technology. Pradeep, how do you see, now that we have FDA approval, not just in trials, do you see this changing our clinical practices? So Chris, so far, you know, transcatheter aortic valve was only limited to intermediate or high surgical risk patients who are typically older with a lot more comorbidities. And the low risk patients were only treated in trials. At Piedmont, we were fortunate enough to treat these younger patients, low risk patients since 2016 mm -hmm. in, as part of clinical research trial. But now with today's FDA approval, all risk, low risk patients should at least be considered and evaluated for TAVR procedure and get the benefits that were demonstrated in these trials. No, I agree with you, Pradeep, and I really think that, you know, again, we've been doing this since 2016 here. Um, obviously, it's always a little bit harder to have somebody inside of a trial and going through the paperwork and stuff, but the freedom now to treat commercially, as we've seen in the impact of being able to treat people, even low risk, is so exciting. Amy, you have helped been a large part of our field developing these heart teams and stuff. How do you see that the heart team has to now change or rethink to serve this vast community of low-risk patients who are gonna come into our systems wanting TAVR? Well, thanks, Chris, it's a great question. And I think historically the question has been, who is a good TAVR candidate? Mm -hmm. and today that, that's all changed and the question mm -hmm. really becomes, who is, uh, who is not a good TAVR yeah. candidate? Right. So it's, it's really exciting to see. The multidisciplinary heart team is so important in thoroughly evaluating patients who are to undergo any sort of um, transcatheter procedure. And that's from the psychosocial components all the way down to, of course, the anatomical considerations, technical feasibility, and so on. Um, I think that it's imperative for, the, um, for all patients to come and be evaluated by our, our heart team where everyone has unique perspectives and strengths to contribute, to make a full assessment, to offer what's best and safest for each individual patient for the best short and long-term outcomes. No, I agree. I think it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a day that patients should celebrate. Now they have been empowered to have the choice that they want. And it may not always be that TAFR is the right choice, absolutely. Uh, but to be able to have an informed decision about the options, the pros and cons of both technologies or spaces of surgical aortic valve replacement, which absolutely still has a role for the right select patients. Mm -hmm. But really, I think we'll see, as we've already seen in our, our continued access of the low-risk trials, patients are demanding TAVR, mm -hmm. and it's becoming an exception, not the norm, that they're gonna want surgical aortic valve replacement. So it's an exciting day, and I'm glad that here at Piedmont we've been a part of pushing this field forward. Um, any closing thoughts, Pradeep, on uh, things that centers may want to think of when they were, we'll talk about moving forward? I mean, like Amy mentioned, you know, it's a comprehensive assessment, mm -hmm. and every young patient will have to be evaluated on what's the best way to treat that individual patient. And, and all these trials have shown there is vast benefit of transcatheter therapies and may it be mortality, lower stroke, or even faster discharge. Mm -hmm. You know, even one to two, one to two day discharge mm -hmm. is very, very powerful. No, I agree. I, you know, I think when we go back to this comprehensive heart team assessment, what we've done now for the last few years here is look at almost all of our surgical aortic valve replacement mm -hmm. cases and say, yes, they may not want a mechanical valve, they may want a tissue valve, mm -hmm. And uh, we know that may wear out in 10 or 15 years. What is, needs to be done during that surgery to set them up for success to have several potential transcatheteric valves down the future? And so we've been fortunate. I hope all heart teams are looking at things now that way. Uh, Pradeep, Amy, thanks so much for coming today to talk about this exciting news. And um, we look forward to continuing to see more and more of these low risk and all TAVR patients. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Chris.